It was a boring off season, but president of baseball operations for the Cardinals, John Mozeliak, did say, hey, fans, be patient. We're working on some stuff. And I guess we see what he was working on. Finally, Nolan Arenado coming to the Cardinals here soon. Of course, a lot of stuff needs to be worked out. So, Ben, if you could just walk us through what exactly all needs to be figured out, because I think the financials of it is the biggest thing. As far as where things stand with Arenado, the, the Cardinals are – trying to get the fine details of this deal sorted out. It's going to have to pass the approval of the commissioner. It's going to have to pass the approval of the major league uh, players union um, because there's a lot of moving parts. It's a very complicated deal. Um, We know maybe a couple of the names that will be moved back to Colorado. They haven't been finalized yet. Um, A lot of this, uh, the hard stuff is going to be figuring out what exactly is going to happen with the money. We've seen reports, of course, that the Rockies are willing to pay up to $50 million dollars. Um, In order for the Cardinals to take on Arenado's salary, there's um, going to be a a matter of what happens to his opt-outs. Does he have one? Does he have two? He could have two opt-outs after each of the upcoming seasons, um, which, you know, the Cardinals could even defer some of the money in the deal um, in order to help them kind of help their payroll moving forward. So all of these things have to be agreed upon. um, And still the, the, the names of the players being traded to Colorado have to be finalized. Um, we've heard names like Austin Gomber, um, the left lefty pitcher for the Cardinals, um, who would have been in a, in a chance to, to compete for a rotation spot coming spring, but was not a an established starter. And also one of the names that's popped up is John Torres, who was the Cardinals' ninth or 10th ranked prospect, depending on which rankings um, you look at. But it seems the Cardinals, Brooke, have managed to dodge giving up any of their elite level prospects to, to bring on an elite, potentially hall of fame player, which is, uh, you know, somebody they've had their eye on for a long time. So I think the view in Colorado, as long as it goes down, as we expect, is that this is a, a great deal for the, the Cardinals, not the Rockies. And, and there are certainly a lot of happy Cardinals fans.